Roger Brett Cable, the 19th of February 1964, the 27th of September 2005, was a South African mining magnate with close links to factions in the ruling political party, the African National Congress. Background Cable was born in the mining town of Springs, on the East Rand. He matriculated from St. Andrew's School, Bloemfontein, in 1981, and then went on to the University of Cape Town, from where he graduated in 1986. His first job was as an articled clerk for Malinux, which has since merged with, and become part of, Weber Wenzel, in Cape Town in the late 1980s. He was involved in the sale by Anglo-American of its JCI gold assets to Maziku Malo in 1995, but the partnership ended soon after. In August 2005 he was deposed from the companies he ran, Western Areas, JCI and Rand Gold and Exploration, following moves by concerned investors and stakeholders. An investigation followed to determine the whereabouts of some R2 billion worth of Rand Gold Resources shares, which Rand Gold and Exploration could not easily account for and which had either been loaned out or sold. This was followed by the suspension of JCI and Rand Gold and Exploration shares from the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, JSE, which recently, Rand Gold and Exploration has been relisted on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. He married Ingrid in December 1990 and they had four children. Death He was shot dead near a bridge over the M1 in Abbotsford, Johannesburg at around 9 p.m. on the 27th of September 2005, while driving to a dinner engagement with his business associate, Salo Raz Thaba. An autopsy performed three days after the murder found that the bullets were a rare, low-velocity type used by bodyguards and security operatives. The purpose of such bullets, which require a specially adapted pistol, was to hit assassins and terrorists without passing through their bodies and hitting bystanders or hostages. Despite the closer range, the gunpowder burns in general were not severe, providing further evidence that the ammunition was of a special, reduced charge. On the 16th of November 2006 businessman Glenn Agliotti was arrested in connection with the murder of Brett Kebble. Agliotti, a convicted drug dealer, was a close personal friend of former South African Police Commissioner Jackie Salibi. It was alleged that Agliotti had strong links with organized crime and racketeering. On the 27th of October 2008, the National Prosecuting Authority officially recognized that Kebel orchestrated his own murder. In July 2010, his death was the subject of a high-profile court case, with a number of state witnesses admitting complicity. However, in November 2010 Agliotti was acquitted when the court ruled that the state had not made a prima facie case against him. Legal action has since been ongoing to resolve the issue of the missing Rand Gold Resources shares. On the 21st of January 2010 a revised settlement agreement was signed between the JCI Group and the Rand Gold and Exploration Group. Sale of Art Collection His art collection went under the hammer on the 6th of May 2009. Bidders from as far as Australia, New Zealand and Pennsylvania were at the auction. 133 pieces of art were sold for ZAR53.90 million. This falls short of the 1 billion rand that he was said to have squandered. The Brett Kebble Art Awards Kebble was the controversial patron of the Brett Kebble Art Awards which he established in 2003 to provide a showcase for established artists and to help those less known to attain recognition. It was also meant to build a non-racial bridge into the 21st century. The Keppel as it became known, was the most inclusive award of its kind, often criticized for including a craft category to be judged on par with the other mediums like painting, sculpture, printmaking and photography in South Africa. Adding to this, it was also the richest, having a total purse of R620000, roughly $98000, with a grand prize of R200000, roughly $32000. After Kebble's murder, his family decided to cancel the 2006 awards. In February 2006, 
artist Deborah Weber opened a solo exhibition in Johannesburg called Art Media Media Art on the same day that the BKAA were to open at the Cape Town International Convention Center. She explored the time trajectory from being selected as an artist for the 2004 Keppel Art Awards, to working on the awards in 2005, and ending with Brad Keppel's death in September 2005. See also list of unsolved murders. Further reading Brett Kebble. The Inside Story by Barry Sargent Killing Kebble by Mandy Wiener Brett Kebble is used as an illustration for corruption in South African companies. See Chapter 5, Forget the Vision and the Mission in Muzik Uzawayo's book amusingly titled There's a Tsatsi in the Boardroom. The Kebble Collusion. Ten Faithful Days and a R26 Billion Fraud by Barry Sargent. References